Hello friends, I am Vikram from Easy on Technologies. Welcome to my project work series based on Spring Framework. In my previous video session, I discussed about the delete operation and in this video, I will talk about the edit. So let's have a look at the overall workflow of the edit operation. So we'll have one link for edit and user uh, when user click that link, a request will be called here uh, with this uh, edit contact and this uh, URL will have contact ID associated here and uh, this record will be edited right so what is the actual procedure to edit when someone click on edit link a form will be opened with the existing detail and then user will change some data in that form and the form will be submitted right so this is what we are going to do so when you click on the link a method will be called in controller and this method will do multiple steps the very first step will be the contact ID will be stored in a session scope for further use and then will fetch complete detail for that contact ID from the database server so when record is given by the database server will bind that data will bind that complete contact detail in a command so that the command the command will be accessible from the view right and when you have got the contact detail from database will bind that detail to the command and then command will be presented by your view so this is the existing contact form I'm going to reuse here as we have used this form for the new record save save operation the same form I will reuse here but this time I will bind existing contact detail in my command and the data in command will be presented in the form right and in fact my action will be same so what was my action while saving so the action was user slash save contact the same action I'm going to reuse here right now uh, the user will see the existing details here and the user can modify the details right once your data is modified once you have done all the modification uh, user will click on save and a method will be called here save or update I'm going to reuse uh, I'm going to use a common method for save as well as for update right so when how I can decide when when to save or when to update I will check for the existence of contact ID in session scope if contact ID is already present in session scope and uh, if the contact ID is already present we are going to update the record right and if the contact ID is not exist in session scope we have to treat that the complete record as a new record so we'll do the save operation when there is no contact ID and if the contact ID is present in session we are going to update the data right so this is what the overall flow and uh, I'm going to do the coding uh, for this whole procedure next video so this is enough for this particular video thank you very much for watching and if you have any difficulty or query regarding this video you can ask in comment thank you very much and see you next video